Why did the Anaheim Ducks choose Leo Carlson over Adam Fantilli in the 2023 NHL draft? Well, stick around because we have some surprising insights that might just change your perspective on the whole situation. Five days after being selected by the Ducks, 18-year-old center Leo Carlson put on an NHL jersey for the first time at Anaheim's development camp. This was no small moment, a fact Carlson acknowledged when he said, it's a big step, and it wasn't just a significant moment for Carlson. The Ducks had been eagerly anticipating his arrival as well. A little bit of context here, Carlson was just seven months old the last time Anaheim held one of the top two picks. That was when they chose forward Bobby Ryan at number two in the 2005 NHL draft. Since then, the Ducks had only selected two forwards among the top nine center Trevor Zegers at number nine in the 2019 NHL draft, McTavish at number three in the 2021 NHL draft. Both Zegers and McTavish have already made major contributions to the team in Anaheim, so the anticipation for Carlson, another high pick, is high. Carlson, however, is not without his accolades. Like Zegers and McTavish, he brings an impressive resume to Orange County. Most notably, he was the Swedish Junior Hockey Player of the Year last season after he had 25 points in 44 games with Orbro. This was the highest points and assists tally by any junior player in the Swedish Hockey League. Impressive, isn't it? Nevertheless, the Ducks did surprise many when they selected Carlson over the center Adam Fantilli. So why did the Anaheim Ducks choose Carlson over Adam Fantilli? Anaheim general manager Pat Verbeek gave some insight into the decision. He highlighted Carlson's lofty hockey IQ, his creativity, and his impressive physique, a 6 foot 3, 198 pound frame. This was the key factor in giving Carlson the nod over Fantilli. What I loved about him is his two-way game, Verbeek explained. I think there's potential for him to be a dominant player at both ends of the ice. That's high praise indeed. As for Carlson, he doesn't expect to grow any taller, but he's fully committed to refining his physique in the coming months. His goal just gets stronger and bigger and faster, he shared. After only an eight day break from the ice, Carlson took to the rink with the Ducks. He admitted a few things felt different. The smaller ice surface, the stiff new gear, and the challenging tests. It was pretty hard tests as well, he admitted. Eight times to skate, so it was hard for my legs, for sure. Carlson may be new to the Californian NA NHL team, but he's no stranger to the state. He took a family trip to Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco when he was just nine years old. He hadn't been back since, so it was a homecoming of sorts for him. His future with the Ducks remains open-ended. After the development camp, he planned to return to his home in Karlstad, Sweden, to await his next move from the Ducks. Fairby said after the draft that a return to the Swedish Hockey League next season was among the options for Karlstad. Alternatively, he could play in a North American Junior League, which is something to consider especially since he doesn't turn 19 until December 26. So that's the rundown on why the Ducks chose Carlson over Fantilli. They saw a player with impressive skill, high hockey IQ, creativity, and potential for growth. What's your take on this decision? Let us know in the comments below.